Hello everyone, just inside Dollar Tree. These stood out to me as being new this year. I don't remember seeing them last year. They have little decorative clips. And then also this style of tree with the three layers. Super cute and the traditional ones here. Staff are actually taking this wall down, but they just stepped aside, so I thought I'd sneak in here. These are new to me. I did not notice them over the season of having filmed and shared and shopped for Dollar Tree Halloween decor. So anyways, is it just me or are they new? Oh, by the way, if you're looking for the pink or the blush pink ornament balls, there's only a few per box, especially these white ones too. If you need them, buy them when you see them. Well, different options here. So some are glittered, some are just... This one here has a mix of textured and glittered. I really like this color. Oh, this one here has a mix too. So these are selling very fast. As soon as I leave the Dollar Tree and come back another day, they're gone. They have these metal tags. These are also selling off the shelf. So I don't know if people are personalizing them. I know there's some of them with a little banner, see? So you can customize them. And these are being left behind. Have you repurposed these signs or just added them to a wreath? And how do they look? Are you happy with them? They look so cute hanging here. There's a few items that always look cute hanging and then you're not sure what to do when you bring them home. Super cute deer, decorative deer with the pretty antlers. There's two in a pack. These are new this year and they're really well done. I have to say that Dollar Tree has done a great job with these ornaments. If you're needing this style, you'll pay a lot more somewhere else for similar ornaments. The Little snowball effect balls are up top. There's two in a pack for those as well. And I guess we'll go over to the floral section. Some stuff is so high up I can't reach it. I guess with time it will come down. Some of this stuff here is along the top. Most of you are familiar with the wreath options, but I just wanted to point out that there is a larger metal one if you want to look for it. So I think the typical ones are here at the front and then see the one behind, that is a little bit larger. So just be mindful of that. Whole bunch of ribbon, decorative mesh. If you're looking to do the wreath, of course, this stuff is really popular and sells quick as the days go by. Once it gets put out, they typically start to sell. Lots of felt some wood blanks again so if you're wanting to paint or make diys or garland these pieces are nice as added to even a wood wooded bead, beaded garland or just a regular greenery these little bows be cute for gift wrapping with some craft paper and just adding a little accent like this by the way the trees are in so there are green and white trees and lots of picks this is probably one of my favorite Dollar Trees to share with you when it comes to stamps, stickers. They're so neatly organized here and there's quite a variety. So there's two sections. There's this area here and then there's another area by the craft aisle. But I always find that over here I find some secret little gems. Recently I find that Dollar Tree has been really restocking their coloring books for a long time. There was nothing really new on the shelf. By the way, have you seen these? The sales order book so if you're doing markets and stuff and you need a physical sales order sheet they have booklets but yeah they have these beautiful coloring books again you can copy print them so if you prefer to color or use markers on a thicker white page you can probably find some really good white paper and then obviously not for resale because I think there's copyright laws but you know what I mean so if you prefer to color on one page a single page you can do that for your own home coloring lots of books here some hardcover these are all the different signs and they have a few novels as well I know a few weeks back I shared with you once the new books hit the shelf well they were actually in bins at the front of the store but yeah Lots of 
recipe books sometimes found in here as well. So lately I've been spotting this pink tool and these are new cardstock packages. And um, I haven't seen any other colors. The ribbon here, I feel like this would have been from the graduation line, but I didn't spot it months ago. So this must be put out recently. I'm not sure entirely. Sometimes I look at ribbon more this time of year anyways, because of the Christmas season, like there's some stuff here left from the spring. So I wouldn't be surprised if they got some random finds. Look at this. What do you use these for? Oh, they have these as well as stitch markers. I'm not sure, so maybe those who use them let us know if they're any good. Usually I don't like reaching up high, but I have to share with you because they're little canvas totes and you can probably customize them. They also have other picks up here. Do you see that? And these, the magnolia picks, are way up high. <laughs> I'm trying to get up on my chippy toes to share with you. There are lemons, if you're doing a lemon setup. All right, so storage, just the normal things that we know, that we usually see here. Some of the drawer systems, you've heard me saying that the quality's been upgraded, which I'm really happy with. Even these three piece dividers, even this has changed. It's a nicer plastic, much more durable. It's almost got like stretch to it rather than that really brittle type plastic it's really nice someone was looking for picket fences so they have the wood ones and they also have that cardboard one are these little pet bandanas new these are oh my gosh so sweet they have a little trim I feel like these prints are new. This one we usually see for Christmas, but whose little dog wears a bandana? My bear bear won't let me put it on him. Almost looks like a baby toy, but it's rattled, it's crinkly. So these were out a few years ago. I think it was the same ones. Kisses, Hershey's, or were they different ones? I never did buy them last time I saw them. Do your dogs have a favorite toy? Something that squeaks or rolls, gets dragged around? I'm gonna head down to the craft aisle. So just before entering the craft aisle, they have an end cap here with all of the pegboards. Now these are plastic, they're not metal. Most of the things are made of plastic other than the little hooks. So just be mindful of that. And look at how beautiful this display of the Risen Studio line is from Dollar Tree. This is new, and most stores do not have everything out like this. So I'll be honest, you might have to go on a hunt. This one has a gorgeous display put together. Just beautiful. These are the mica, I believe, powders. So they tint the Risen the color that you'd like, and they have quite a few different colors. And then they have these little embellishments, mix-ins that you can add. Some of them are metal trinkets, which is great for paper crafting if you make shaker pockets. And then they have all this, the gorgeous pigment color as well. So you could maybe even add resin to something like this. I'm just throwing it out there. I have no experience with it at all. And they have chunky glitter. They have this uh, little bottle of pieces of foil. So they have the copper. I don't know if it's coming through here and then gold and then silver as well they have the sheets in the craft area but yeah i almost walked right past these look how wonderful three in a pack and they're nice large containers so you're getting a good amount versus you know the small packages in the little baggies that we typically see in the craft section so a really great value today here 
These are the little tote bags. Has anyone tried sublimation on them? And someone was looking for Grinch Green. I guess you can mix this with a little bit more. And that's a nice big bottle. It's much bigger than the ones down here. Felt. And here are the ink pads. So if you're wanting to use the stamps, beautiful bead options. They normally have the round. Oh yeah, there's round two. And they have these new DIY wood ornament kits. Glue gun pad. I use the one from the silicone area from the kitchen for years. And now they sell some in the craft area. And then there are some shelves here. Yeah, the glitter bottles are much better than these small packets here. Oh, check this out. It's already distressed effect for you. And these are awesome because you can just use them and make a sign. I just made a really cute baby shower sign, a three-tiered piece for a Winnie the Pooh theme. I should put the DIY up on the channel. I, yeah, I should. These are awesome too. Some stuff is a bit newer. I love the picks. I use them for pushing little paper things when I'm cutting. The residue eraser is fantastic. Some wall stickers, some regular stickers, more stamps. These are new. I didn't think we were going to see them. Wow. Perfect sentiments for making cards. These are awesome. I'm, I love to make birthday cards if I'm in the mood. <laughs> if I'm in the mood. These would be sweet if we stamped them with the Christmas stamp and personalize them as gift tags. These are some random, random stamps. A long lost letter. These were out last year. Has anyone used the pre cut paper? I have heard excellent reviews on this gel polish, and you don't need to cure it. So it seems to be selling really well. There's some nails. Looks like eyelashes here by color. I know we have the Ioni, those are really highly talked about. I'm not sure what the quality is on, quality is on these things here. Lots of gem art for your face. They have these little kits lately, which I like buying for shaker pockets because it adds a little glitter to my paper crafting. This is an end cap display. And I know some of you look for specific items. So I just love that they've put everything together. Wow, this was really popular for a while in advertisements. And here we are at Dollar Tree. Has anyone tried them? Do you have any reviews? Do they work well? The brushes feel pretty good too. Some of them are cheapy and then sometimes other ones, especially for paddle brushes, don't feel too bad. I think this pumice stone is new. It's a green and tea infused pumice stone. Now, there are new things here to me, but to be honest, this is one area that I don't really spend enough time in to say, hey, there's this new item. This is on the side of an end cap. There are eyelashes here made by Ioni. There's glue. And I know Ioni has their own line of glue as well. And then some of you have been looking for, aren't these cool for Halloween, but you've been looking for the little eyelash cases. So there's a couple colors here still hanging around. They have the full sets and these little added pieces. Here is the cooling facial roller. I know they had a different style out for a little while. Let's see if there's any new makeup products. Some of you can spot things out a little better than me when you're watching the video. And I really, really appreciate it when you say, hey, there's this or that or take your time showing this next time. I love those types of comments, so please feel free to let me know. I've been trying to slow down my filming. I've had a few comments saying that I film too fast, that I'm giving you guys headaches. I really appreciate those types of comments because I don't want anyone feeling sick after watching my videos, but sometimes it's hard, right? 
there's um, a lot to show and there's only so much that I can film. These are new. I'm wondering if I should add them to my daughter's stocking. Little bonus pack. Normally they come in single packages, so that's two. And then they have the baby food. Some items here in the baby section that are kind of newer. This here with the metal and the rubber tip. Spotted the sprinkles. Now they're really high up, so I apologize. I can't get in here that easily. I'm up on my tippies. This is the best I can do here. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. I was actually hoping to find some of, oh yes, they have some jello lemon pie filling. They have some more sprinkles down here. So I'm going to grab a couple items. Oh, I wanted to let you know that this is now at Walmart and a little bit more pricier than here. I will let you know. Icing gel pens. Yep, definitely going to buy this. We do lots of baking at Christmas time and the kids and my daughter and her friends. These are cute little sprinkle kits too. Um, they love to decorate and have fun in the kitchen. So I love to have things ready for them. Is this more for ice cream? I gotta do some price comparisons with Bulk Barn because, not this specifically, but for little chips, butters, and even these. Because these are the baking gums, and I'm wondering if it's less expensive here or. Okay. Flavor crunch. Um, this is the first time I'm noticing these. I have to ask Is Water Bridge a brand name for chocolates? Like Lindor or something like that around the world. Sour Patch, this is a giant pack. I'm going to have to grab a few of those for Halloween. And then they have these as well. Anyone tried them? I spotted them a couple weeks ago, and now there's another little box here. Hope you enjoyed walking through Dollar Tree with me today. Thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, everyone, bye for now.